Hi, greetings and salutations, everyone. Blessed to be and merry meet. It has been uh, quite some time, a couple months anyway, since I've done my last video. I guess uh, I just really haven't, haven't had the inspiration, you know, to do anything. Um, you know, not a bad thing, it's just maybe a quiet time for me and my spirit. Or maybe it's a time to reflect on the things I've already done, reflect on the things I've already received, um, as far as like teachings and stuff. You know, I'm so worried that if time goes on, too much time goes on, I don't have anything to talk about, and I don't make these videos, well, I don't want people to think that I'm, uh, you know, losing touch, or I'm just not going to do it anymore. I don't want people to think that. So, um, that's why I'm making this video. Uh, I'm still here. I, I'm not going anywhere too soon. And I still do very much intend on bringing the, the words and the teachings of the Lord and Lady to you. Her, uh, their hidden children of earth. Um, I still do want to do that in my heart and soul. And I know that they want me to do that. So, I will do it as they provide me with the knowledge and teachings. And this sort of brings me to what this video is about. And uh, I've been thinking lately, I talked about a number of things on the YouTube channel, different subjects. Uh, so what am I going to talk about today? And there is one subject I really haven't uh, talked on much. And, that is um, our magical names. You know, uh, in the priesthood now, uh, this is speaking strictly from the priesthood, uh, we take on a, uh, a magical name. You know, when we're initiated for that first time into the first degree. And it's pretty clear and it's told to us uh, in the writings and the teachings of the Wicked as it's handed down to us it's pretty much told there why these names are used, or why they were used. Um, in this day and age, with the change of times and evolution of man, um, in certain settings, certain situations, the names aren't, aren't really... I don't want to say they're not as important, because I think that they are. Um, they are in the sense that when you take on that name, you kind of build a persona around that name. And uh, that becomes a, a, another personality, a magical personality. So, it is important. It is important to have these names. Um, originally, the names were taken on to uh, hide our true identities from our oppressors and from the, uh, the hunters. So, if somebody was taken and uh, interrogated about who they were with, you know, if, if in their torches they said anything, they, can't, they couldn't say what they didn't know. Uh, if they didn't know the person's real name and only knew the witch name, that's the only information they could give. And, you know, that's not going to be much uh, help for the oppressors and for the persecutors to use. So, that was the original intent behind taking on a Wiccan magical name. <clears throat> now, uh, uh, many people uh, would use, uh, you know, like names from uh, movies or, uh, you know, from fiction. But they might find a na name that they like a whole lot and it fits them, so they'll use that name. Others, like myself, um, we, uh, we just uh, throw together a name, something like an inspiration, you might say, uh, comes to you. Well, it came to me anyway. Um, my, actually, I've had two magical names. Uh, I'm on my second one now. But the first one, actually, I did take that from a movie. <laughs> um, my first magical name was taken from the movie uh, Never Ending Story. And I felt it fitting that I take it from that movie because the journey at that time that I was about to embark on, this Wiccan journey, was akin to being a never-ending story. 
You know, you live through successive lifetimes, uh, learning different things, and you are this witch person. You know, it's a never-ending story that you're, you're building. Um, and the taking out of a magical name is another part of that never-ending story. So, um, <clears throat> when uh, I took on that first name, uh, my elder uh, taught us, the rest of the group, how to go about choosing that name. Uh, and what she did was she taught us how to use numerology, uh, the, the, the scale, the numerology scale, to select our name. And by using the scale, we would match up the, uh, the name that we chosen to our actual name number. You know, the, the, the name that we were given at birth. So the, uh, the logic there was that both would match. Both are you, they're part of the same you. You match it as close as you can. You get it down to an exact number between the two. And there's your magical name. Now, aside from the magical name being used to um, hide us from our oppressors, that name is also how you be identified uh, on a spiritual level. And whenever you're going out from uh, a deep meditation, or if you go for um, astral projection, if, if you're uh, um, adept at that, this name that you've taken on, this magical name, is how you would be identified on what is called the inner planes in here, when you go within yourself and you're traveling those planes in there. That's the inner planes. And that name you take on is what you would be known as on those inner planes. So keep these things in mind when you're selecting your name. And uh, one thing I would encourage you to not do is to select uh, a name that has to do with a god or a goddess. You know, that's the only thing I would encourage you not to do. Um, because by doing so, you could take on the, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, if, if you take on the name of a of a god or goddess, then perhaps you're taking on a little bit of, of uh, their persona and what they are. And as a human, our intellect may not be able to handle that kind of, of uh, energy level of, of a god or goddess. So I would definitely encourage you to stay away from using those things. So, But my time is just about up on this video, and I just wanted to touch lightly on that subject for you. So, again, leave your comments, as always, and uh, we'll discuss this. So, as I leave you now, I say, blessed be, merry part, may the four winds be with you.